Hi, it's Agnes again. I've got a self-love story for you. It's from Shahad. Shahad from Kuwait. So Shahad says, I really want to update you about my self-love and spiritual journey and I believe that this is my true success story. I met my person back in January 2017 and he broke up with me in December 2017. Due to all of my insecurities and negative projections and then my life just fell apart and I hit a rock bottom. I spent five months after that chasing and begging and I found your channel in January and I did everything. Self-love meditations, affirmations, whispering technique. Nothing seemed to work with me because now I realized that I was making all of that with the intentions to get someone, to get something back from him. Even when I was sending him unconditional love, it wasn't really unconditional. I had a severe depression. I lost nine kilos and I was in a dark place. I couldn't do anything. So I decided to give those feelings some time and embrace them without judgment or force being, because I noticed whenever I force them to change, they get louder and louder in my head and my heart. So that's why I gave myself all the time that I needed to heal and let go. What helped me was a lot of meditations and breathing techniques. With a time frame of a month and a half, I, f I was completely healed from anxiety and depression. Only then I decided to go back to your self-love meditations and I practice them daily. And I cannot thank you enough for sharing this knowledge about self-love. It's really valuable and everything. Today, after 10 months, I can tell you the taste of my own love is so good to a point where I don't really need any love from anyone or anything because I know I'm whole by myself just the way I am. And I am truly enjoying the process of getting to know me. I decided to marry myself because I know the only person that will always be with me is me no matter what. I know many women out there, they're looking to get their SP back or they want to attract their perfect partners to be happy. Nothing wrong with that. I just want to say to them what they don't exactly want to hear, but it's probably what they need to hear. Love you for who you truly are. Love your look. Love your personality. Love your mood. Love your swings and your unique character. If you're unable to love yourself unconditionally, you will start loving others for who they are, exactly how you love yourself. And that's the person who you want to spend your whole life living with, whether he is your SP or even your new partner. Just be patient with yourselves. Now I'm taking a meditation instructor training, practicing yoga every day, planning to travel soon, working on myself and enjoying my life with me. And I know everything will fall together in place for me in the right time. Nice. Love hearing people feeling good self-love. Well done, Shahad. Well done. So big hug. Glad that uh, you can now pay it forward. Pass it on. I think it's really important to hear how good someone's self-love is because a lot of people are struggling with it. So thank you very much for sharing that and thank you very much for us spending the time just writing it out for us. Okay. Ciao, ciao.